a solid 53 Metacritic, I think. And it's um, it's Konami. It's post Matrix, post Metal Gear Solid 2. I think it's using the MGS2 engine. And it's uh, it's very of its time. It's so of it. It's like it's perfectly of its time in that it's it's so average, but it's got all of these uh, just all those cyber cool slick stylish action tropes. You dive into the cyberspace and you you can like dive and shoot like Max Payne. And uh, it's got the double campaigns. This is the, uh, there's like a shooter and then like a ninja lady. And um, I'm doing the latter of the two. Cause as I recall, it's way better. Just look at that. Oh, this is interesting. Expert mode, so. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, let's try expert. I've never seen a difficulty level determined solely by the camera. Cyber. November 11th, 2058. On that day, all sources of electrical power supply shut down. In one short day of global electrical failure, the world's political and economic structures crumbled, and the entire planet felt a terror it had never known. I think so. It sounds like they got an actual Japanese actress, which is pretty um, pretty uncommon. I do think that they put <coughs> some effort into the localization. There we go. Characters created by Takara, so I don't know if there was like some, uh, like, predecessor to this, like if it's based on something, or if they just created it as like a collaboration for this game. Do not think it went places. This was called Cool Girl in Japan. I don't know if that's better or not. It seems less generic, even though it's still quite generic. I think that's someone. It's cool though. I mean, it's you know, it's it's a lot of things of its time, but like this this is stylish.
probably sounds strange for me to be asking, but how's the organization doing? I guess they're not very happy about me abandoning the mission. We are nothing but puppets anyway. They use us up and throw us away. But surely they know how important the power you have is. They know that. But some things are more important than that. We can't let this chance go by. Sorry. Anyway, it's important that you remember this place is dangerous. If anything happens to either of us, the other one has got to walk away and not look back. Kovitz. He who hesitates is lost. Isn't that what we've always been taught? Whatever happens, we've got to handle it and avenge our father. Yes, Kovitz. It's been a long time coming, but tonight is going to be over. So here we go. Okay, sneak into the mansion from underground and head for the mainframe computer in the main hall. <clears throat> Select to communicate. This is straight codec. Same thing. Here's that manual camera. It's weird. It's really slow. Climb over the debris. Ah. Next to jump, A. Eh? Here, hold up. This camera. Okay, so this immediately sticks out as weird. Camera mode expert. Uh, is there like a sensitivity thing? No. Does this predate such concepts? Alright. I guess that's that. Whoa! Yeah, there was a period where you couldn't be an action game if you didn't have a wall run. And this is right in the middle of that. Hence. Wall run. Doesn't work on beams, I guess. This is the only one I've seen, though, where it twists the camera like that. I don't know if I like that or not. I think I might. Alright. <clears throat> Stylish door opening action. This is a. Uh, Tasteful cave level. Nothing beats brown. It's above here. Use your ninja hook to climb up. So also of this time, you couldn't be a ninja game unless you let the player bounce off walls. Or huh. No, that's not what's happening. It's like a tension thing. Okay. Use the hook with the triangle button or the R2 button. To use the hook for climbing up, first face upward, by using the stick. Okay. Wait. Okay, so sub weapons. Biochar, I remember this. You got a hook, this thing, shooty kang, kunai. You get both. So. <laughs> yeah, that's like Tenchu. Alright. Attack with circle button or the R1 button. It's nice that they give you these options. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> action packed. Oh, whoa, whoa, I got a little charge slash here. Can I do like a judgment cut? I don't know what that is. I guess that's just their guard. Let's see, I gotta flip. Like a dodge. That's a that's L1. Oh weird. So if you do it forward, she does like a handspring. Wait. Someone's there. Or is it just behind a wooden box and wait and see. 
by hiding behind the crate. And after getting close to the wooden box, you can hide the L2. There you go. Okay. You can move while hidden. Left. This is like a. Okay, it's tension. Oh god. I can't tell what I'm looking at. What can I like? <laughs> what did I just do? I don't know. Man, I've just been playing Deus Ex, and this is different. <laughs> I think I did that right. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I'll get another shot. So L2. And you like pop out. I appreciate that there's a lot of animations. Uh, it doesn't always feel very good. In fact, it mostly doesn't feel very good. Above. Okay, so if I hook on, sweet. Okay, <laughs> why is that a thing? Hmm. I think post Tenchu. Uh, it just feels like if Tenchu felt where oh my gosh. Hey, what up, Ross Sothi? Thanks for the host. How have you been? Alright. Let's do this the smart way. No? <laughs> I suppose that wasn't it. Man, she's really like, she's really <clears throat> like magnetized to those ledges. Okay, I think I'm I've, I've been too coddled by modern games. Like, you have to really approach it at a right angle. Grab onto the bar above you and inch your way across. Okay. Wow, that is excruciating. Yeah, doing well. This is this is my first time streaming in the new digs, so I hope that it's viewable. And I hope everyone loves Spy Girls as much as I have made built it up in my head over the last fifteen years. Good lord. It's like a game, and like, this was a big time for uh, gimmicky, like, gimmick driven action games, and this is like nothing but gimmicks. Uh, so, all of the criticism it got when it came out is, is pretty valid, I think, but it's, um. Okay. But I find the gimmicks interesting sometimes. Switch. When you get close to the switch, you can examine it by pressing, okay, like every game ever. But where's the switch? Um, hmm. Couldn't be too far, right? I hope. Oh. 
Yeah, this did not this did not get a lot of attention. <clears throat> Mostly on account of its badness, I assume. But uh I think it does use Metal Gear tech, like MGS2. You see it in some of the other environments. They have like depth of field blur and some very Metal Gear looking elements. Bro, I need a little more advice here. Where's the switch? Everything is brown. It's just brown town. I don't even know, like, is it on the thing? Nope. Is there a point to this alcove? Man, <clears throat> not like this. We're not even out of the tutorial yet. Mining unit, Yeah, it's like another one of those. I think there's more to it than that. Like, those were super simple. They were even part of this simple series. Um, man, I can't believe I did that, but I don't know where to go. Um, yeah, it's got that look. A lot, of, a lot of these PS2 games have that look. Just like, kind of bad feeling, but still runs at 60 FPS. Yeah, yeah. Do I even need to do that though? Can't I just like... No. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, well, Nechanbara is one of a... So, there's the Simple series in Japan. Simple 2000, I think, was the PS2 one. Meaning they caught... It was simple budget games, they all cost 2,000 yen. And, uh, well, Nechanbara and... Earth Defense Force were the two that kind of blossomed <clears throat> and became hit series. And uh, I don't know. I, I never played the uh, like the later ones, but I think it got like a little more elaborate. But the first. Like kind of exhausted what there was to see within like the first five minutes but the concept was there this is this is silly they should just show me where the switch is the rocks are obstructing. I know that that's not a useful tip that's the kind of thing that the environment communicates already. How about tell me how to find the switch in the sea of brown? Uh, okay, I'm googling it because WTF. Is there a fact for this masterpiece? Oh man, there are three. And one for the demo. I wonder where you get the demo. Is that a pack in with another like second rate Konami game? Alright, Asuka. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, rubble. Found it. Um, you pull up, enemy ninja will charge towards you, run to him, do that. 
Okay. Pile of rocks. Okay. Oh, derp. Man, that is really hard to see. I'm also wearing sunglasses because my eyes have been uh, fried. Okay. Uh, please let me know if the mic goes out again. I appreciate that. Thank God that's over. think that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I hope that's not certain death then. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, I've been playing nothing but modern games lately. Like Sekiro with its like super autopilot grappling. That's maybe the only way that Sekiro coddles you, but... Oh, sweet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, that's your... Helm splitter. Uh oh. Cave ninjas. And they're cyber in some way. Whoa. That was. See, that's, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. That's what I remember of her campaign is that there's lots of cinematic kills, which Ice, the other. Psy girl does not have. Um, now what? If I go up, I do not. This pool of water is kind of cool. There were a lot of ugly pools of water in the PS2, if you remember. Alright. Choose the hook. You already explained this. Use the hook with the triangle. All right, yeah, that's the same exact tip. Oh, it's cool. That's cool. The way it points you at the thing. Can I? Oh wow. Look for an entrance to access the mansion. Actions that must be done next are written in the mission objectives. Menu, select the mission objective screen. Oh man, if you haven't played Sekiro, that's a that's sort of a well, I don't know. Um, I want to say must play because it's really special, but it's also very demanding. Um, it's like so. I will say this: I've always wanted to like the Souls games, and I keep giving them chances and keep finding myself just mad. Uh, because the challenge is one thing, it's the punishment that I can't abide because it's just like, you know, okay, I'm stuck against this boss and every time I wanna try and fight the boss, I have to go through like, you know, five to 20 minutes of like gameplay to get back to him. Uh, and it's like, you know, a lot of these bosses can kill you very quickly, so it's like, okay, you might learn one attack that they do every time you fight them, so it's like, you end up squandering hours just trying to learn how to fight the boss, let alone 
executing it, you know, and then, um, and it just felt like it was mean, you know, and like the Souls games, because they're online, they don't have, they don't let you pause, so it's just like, all these things that just feel unreasonably mean to the player, and don't let you, like, have a life, uh, and even Bloodborne, um, I gave Bloodborne like three different chances, and all three times it was just like, F this. Uh, Sekiro has has fared better, um, mainly because it's it's less mean. Basically, like the the checkpoints are, are like that, that's really all it takes is like more generous checkpoints. There was a boss that took me like 80 tries, but the checkpoint was right outside his uh, his like where he where the boss is, and so it was like. I was fine with it, you know, I'm like, I, I will bang my head against one challenge for 80 tries if I don't have to waste a bunch of time in between, just let me do the thing, you know. So, in that sense, I think Sekiro is kind of what I always wanted the the rest of From's recent titles to be. Uh, it's also, you know, the subject matter is really cool, it's like, if you're into ninja hack and slash games, it's, um... That's, it is one. <laughs> and uh, the, you know what I really love is the environment design. It feel, like You never feel like they've recycled an asset. Everything feels like, like a painting that you inhabit. And, um, which is also cool because it's not particularly hi-fi in terms of like, graphical fidelity. You know how they do. Like, they, their games are never like pushing the tech, but they always have amazing art direction. So it's, um, it's that. And um, I will say this though, if, if you were enticed by people saying that it's like a modern Tenchu, uh, which is, that probably doesn't apply to a lot of people, but <laughs> um, I was enticed because I had heard that like four different times. Uh, it's not, it does not feel like Tenchu and the stealth is like this weird half-baked thing where like, like you're not meant to play through without being spotted. It's almost impossible to go unspotted for a prolonged period of time. Because it's like often performing the stealth kill will result in you getting, you'll be heard by someone else. Uh, and then you have to like run away and wait for them to forget about you, which you can do, but it's like that's kind of a cheesy and unfun. So like it's much more confrontational. Um, closer to something like uh, like a shinobi kind of game where you're, you're like a confrontational ninja who can occasionally pull off stealth. But um, overall, really impressive. I think it's it's one of those sort of instant classic kind of games. What am I even doing? <laughs> It's always nice when you ask the guy for help, and he says, what are you doing? Okay, terminal. Oh wait, I found a terminal. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. See, do I have a map? I do have a... What the hell am I looking at? That's <laughs> uh... Oh, the lines are just... Glitchy. It's a pot hook. Pot hook. Alright. <laughs> Is that relevant info? Relevant info, or are you just... It's funny. Is this the main hall? It looks like a main... like a hondo. Alright, well... I do like how fast she runs. Oh, maybe this is the main hall. It's an actual hall.
I do remember this game is a little labyrinthine. The this is see this is the, very unsekiro in that it feels like a series of recycled assets. <laughs> it's a bunch of boxes. Oh man. Yeah. Um. So there is some Tenchu overlap in that From Software did at least one Tenchu game, Tenchu Z, on the uh, on the Xbox 360. Which I never played, but I've heard is good. My fave was always Tension 3, which puts this to shame for sure. Um, and Neo is really, really good. Um, but it's an interesting comparison, Neo and Sekiro, because they don't um, they don't feel that similar in practice. Man, you can just do that whenever you want. Jump and jump and attack, and you just do. <laughs> you just do a one-hit kill. Why would you? Why would you fight any other way? She has so she has like this somersault thing, but <laughs> it's almost it has like instead of being a dodge that you can cancel into, it has like startup frames. It's weird. It has startup frames and a recovery. I wonder, but I guess it, so, okay, so I guess it puts you behind them, so, maybe it could be useful. That's the entrance. The security has been activated. Don't try to open it. Find another entrance on which to enter the mansion. Find another entrance. The main gate. The security has yeah, been I heard you, I heard you. Don't try to open it. Yeah, Neo is, um, let's see, how is that different? So Neo also has very light stealth, but it's even lighter. It's like not, it's not like a even, like, positioned as a viable way to play. It's like, it's like an occasional gimme. Like, they'll just be like, yeah, this guy hasn't seen you, you could just kill him now. But, uh... It's uh, it's also um, it just has a different feel, you know. To um, I think one of the things you kind of have to accept with From Software's games is they have a pretty significant input lag, which gives them a very distinct feel, which some people, a lot of people apparently, really like. Um, I think that's kind of a to their detriment, like especially with Sekiro, because you're supposed to feel like a ninja, and there's like pr pretty pretty significant lag. This is where I came from. Um, it's like almost a full second for certain things, so it feel it often feels like you're queuing up moves rather than just doing them. Well, well Neo is super fat. You know, it's the Ninja Gaiden team, so it's like they're they're known for that, like that that's super responsive uh, like twitchy action feel. And uh, Neo, oh wait. Now I'm confused. What are you doing? Look for a terminal in the main hall of the mansion. Oh, I was supposed to go back. That's where I came from. Okay. Uh, Don't try to open right. Find another entrance from which to enter the mansion. This game could really use landmarks. Whoa, man, that's... I like what they were going for. I don't know if, if it works. The, uh, the twisty cam. An oven cooker. <laughs> My brother's commentary seems... Uh... Not always that helpful.
can't tell what's a door and what's not. Yeah, it's really cool to see that that style of game come back. That's the thing is like that was sort of the main thing in the PS2 era, and uh, I feel like there was so much left to improve upon and explore, and then it just kind of like went away, you know, in favor of things like the third-person shooter or the first-person shooter. Um, and then, like in Japan, I guess Monster Hunter took over, which which is cool and sort of related, but it's just, it wasn't the same uh, kind of thing, so it's cool to see these, like, hack and slash stylish action games come back and coexist with the best Monster Hunter of all time. Capcom really is you know, in a in a really good place now. This is this is the first time in like ten years that I don't know what they have coming up next, so it's very exciting. Uh man, is this just another dead end? What are you doing? Look for a terminal in the main hall of the mansion. You gotta define main hall, bro. It's nothing but Empty halls. What are you doing? Oops. All right. This could be a main hall. It's the biggest hallway. Look for a terminal in the main hall of the mansion. I wish I could see the Japanese because it's not it's not super clear what they mean by main hall. This map isn't labeled. Like It'd be cool if they gave me um look for a terminal in the main waypoint mansion. It's the pod hook. <laughs> and point out the pod hook every time. What do you got down there? Yep. So Dude, so there's that. So there's those the Musou. There's like the Dynasty Warriors games, and Capcom has their spin on it with Sengoku Basara, and it kind of seems like that series is taking a break, which it probably should because one, it seems to have exhausted itself, and two, it's not really marketable outside Japan. For some reason, or I don't, I don't really know what the deal is, but they stopped. Really, I, I assume they just weren't popular outside Japan because it's not. It's just not a super compelling subject matter for like a widespread Western audience. Unfortunately, you know, I think there's there's probably a novelty in seeing like these hip teenager versions of like historical figures that you studied in school uh, in Japan. And then, you know, there's like a niche audience overseas, but I feel like they're missing a huge opportunity to do what uh, Tecmo Koei is already doing and um, turn Sengoku Basara into, like, just apply that template to all their other IPs that are beloved the world over, you know, like... It like it's all it's almost cute to me that Tecmo Koei has an All Stars game. It's like what All Stars does that company have? Like I, I couldn't. I was like, okay, who who is that other than characters from Dynasty Warriors? And then I looked and it's like, oh, okay, like the Ninja Gaiden guy from like you know, fifteen years ago. 
Uh, shoot. I'm lost again. Consulting the sack. And then, like, actually, they put the guy from Neo in there, and Neo had only been out for, like, a few months when the All Stars game came out. But it was like, and then it was like, I don't know, it, it was a bunch of uh, characters from, like, their niche titles, because all they do is niche titles. And I was like, man, if Capcom did this, first of all, I think Single Kubasara is more fun than Dynasty Warriors. Uh, second, they just have way stronger they have way better like uh, ip power if they did a capcom all-stars it just seems like a no-brainer and you know like different stages based off different environments from different you know you do a mega man stage a devil may cry stage a monster Hunter. you know this thing writes itself and i just i don't know like mvc is cool but i feel like that's all like fighting games are inherently repellent to a lot of people myself among them like i like fighting games but it's just too um i don't know i think it's too much of an investment to be competitive as a player and so the online experience is just being like comboed to death over and over um but if they did like a you know a warriors kind of game that would be presumably more appealing to more people. Alright, I'm looking at the fact again. Uh, your brother identifies the oven cooker on the... Oh, so you will actually use the oven cooker. Good to know. Um, you get the switch. Forward, hit the switch in the corner, press it. Exit. Hmm. Man, even the fact is like hard to read because it all just blurs together. An oven cooker. <laughs> That's so funny. So, four above. Going here. I did, right? What are you doing? Look for a terminal in the main hall of the mansion. Man, like, why is this? Why are all these other rooms even here? That's the door I didn't go in. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hyrule, Hyrule was supposed to be really good, and um, now they're doing a Persona one. Like they've, like they've got the right idea, and they've figured out that, like, if they apply that formula to other people's IPs, it's more compelling, and I think that's, <laughs> so that, that's, that makes it even more, like, confounding to me that they did an All-Stars game, it's like, uh, you guys have had to reach out to other publishers to even, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not fair to them, but like, I don't know, it's just like, it seemed like that's what they were doing, they're like, well, we're kind of 
we've done the Chinese history thing a lot, and it's really just not that big uh, in the West. So, but Zelda is, and Zel Zelda is notably bigger in the West than in Japan, uh, as far as I've seen. Uh, biocharge is that? Yes, yeah, so cool. What does that say? <laughs> Aha! But I don't know, like, I'm kind of just excited to see whatever Capcom has planned and hope that they keep the momentum up now that they have the tech updated, you know, like, RE Engine seems in very usable form. Yeah, there's a Fire Emblem one. I forgot about that. Uh, what are you doing? Look for a tournament still? in the main All hall right. of the mansion. Um, I think the way to play this game is to check the map frequently. This is okay. That's where I came from. There was an elevator, so I haven't gone here. Oh, okay. So the, it tells you which the map populates only after you go into the rooms. Okay, that's good to know. Somehow that didn't register. I thought it was like showing me where this section of the map ends. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Ah. ah, fatal frame. Yeah. Um Those games are really really good. But I thought they still like, I thought that was still kind of going, at least as recently as the Wii U, right? So there's still hope. Man, that is some light hack and slash action. <laughs> there's just, there's no penalty at all for using the, uh... For using the, uh, insta-kill. Begs the question, why would you ever just swing your sword normally? Whoa. What you got? Wooden... wait, what's that? Left hand is made of gold, alright. <laughs> okay. This statue hand, it may be useful for something. Let's take it. Sweet. Gold hand. I mean, even if it's not useful for something, it's definitely saleable. Hmm. Where okay. What is Opo Opuna? What is that?
now with a strong enough impact. Do I have Shinsoku? Is that like a Huh, man, I didn't remember getting all this. I need are any of these bombs? There's a bomb. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll come back to that. Wait, did I? It's just a giant empty chamber here. Looks like it. Ah. Peephole. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, wow. I never imagined oven cookers could be rigged in such a confounding way. Okay, so I gotta get back down there. Cell shaded Toonie style space dude and takes place in space. And this international space day. Man, I didn't know any of these facts. Wait. Mateo. What's the thingy? Is there something? Huh. Alright, never mind. I guess space is always international. Do I have that right? Okay, so back to the elevator. I think I got it. I just want to point out that we haven't even gotten to the thing that I, that is the main reason that I like this game. Uh, so hopefully we will in the near future. You can, uh, there's like a whole, so there's this whole cyberspace mechanic where you, you like jack into the mainframe and it turns into like this whole, there's this whole like second layer to the world and when you're in there, it's like the Matrix, you have different like you can do more things because it's not your physical body uh, and although it's still that like sort of garbage feeling action <laughs> it's uh you know it's just like conceptually cool and I don't know there's something about it The, the other campaign, so there's two discs for this game. Uh, the other campaign, you're, it, it's like, it's the other big action trope of the PS2 era, where you, can, you like dual wield pistols and dive into the air and shoot. And uh, it looks very different. You're in like a very Metal Gear looking, like futuristic high tech facility with armed guards. And, um,. I think you encounter the cyberspace stuff a little sooner. This is like, I mean, it's all, it's almost like two separate games. Which is probably why the action is so unpolished. Ah, the bomb. All right, so now I can blow up that wall from earlier. This is just like, they're Nice. This is just their warehouse where they keep a bomb.
Okay. Oops. I get out of this godforsaken. Ah. Uh, the puddle is to indicate that it's I never imagined a uh, there's something above you. In such a confounding way. Okay. Having to hold attack to block kind of makes block feel <clears throat> non viable. What happens if you use the bomb in the wrong place? Maybe it doesn't let you. It's more solid than it appears to be. If there was only one more bomb available. Man, don't do that. Uh, let's see. Really? What are you doing? Look for a terminal in the main hall. So I need another bomb? Why do they have to do me like that? Something here now. Look for the peephole again. There's a peephole used to scout out the enemy. That uh, won't let me. other people. Coming together now. Hi. 
I like her blue particle effects. Really snazz up the effect. doing ninja acrobatics to avoid ending the sentence with a preposition there. This statue, it only Very impressive. Hand. Um. Oh yeah, you need a hand. Let me get up there. All right. Uh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Where oh where can that terminal be? So wait, how did I end okay wait. So I'm on the other side now. Which means I'm gonna have to Hmm. Okay, now I get a waypoint. Whoa, whoa! I don't, I don't know what triggered it, but I'll take it. Hand grenade. Sweet. I think I'm getting into a good pace here. I think I've figured this game out. <laughs> now to die horribly. Anyone else? So, <clears throat> what is that? How do I get back? Okay. 
Alright, none of these are where I want to be. Right. It's weird that it's giving me these beacons now. I want to go this way. Hey! yourself by hanging the hook from the ceiling then pressing X oh man that has the potential to be cool let's find out wow okay that was kind of cool I wonder if you can do that like dynamically and, like combat and stuff Unfortunately, there's no ceilings here. Oh man, I got... Oops. I don't even know how those are triggering, but they're great. Okay, so what have I learned? I got out. Okay, now I need to... Uh, no. Huh. Take it back down. <laughs> I think maybe I can't. Yeah, I can't go back. I hope because this is awful. Um, if I only had three more bombs. Sent me on this mission. It's a pot hook. All right, I'm going to look it up again. Conventional bomb. Take them out. Oh, okay. I need to go back where I was.
Does that just happen when you're surrounded? Like, free of charge? This game's generous. Okay, it's saying hookshot. Back where I started. Get attack on three ninjas, take them all out, re enter the door on the left, CP hookshot up the wall head, go through the door. Uh. Oh, I see. No, I was right before. So now, if I go back to the elevator, there's no elevator. I think that's... I think that's what they're getting at. I never imagined oven cookers could be rigged in such a confounding way. Tricky. I went up on the elevator, but there was just an empty shaft. Down I go. Man, they should have they should tell you that. Let's see. Uh, does that just paralyze them? So, huh. Alright, I can run on walls. Forgot. Oh, that was cool. Actually, some some nuance to this mechanic. Wasn't prepared for that. First of all, is there a door here or something? No. using magnets or something. Alright. <clears throat> what are you doing? Look for a terminal in the main hall of the mansion. Find card key. So, okay. But I just... 
So that block I just pushed must have done something. Jack in the cyberspace. Wait. I see. <laughs> Mission cleared. Sort of. down the oven cooker. shaft apparently guys are really not a challenge. There's like no feedback at all, you just like slice through them like air. <laughs> and then the key was just on the... That is so nonsensical. How are you supposed to know that's where that block would come out? Space. Okay, card key. Let's see. Ah. It's cool you can chain those wall runs together. 
normal old lock, the latest card style security lock. We should be able to open it with a card key. Seems to be heavy equipment used to rotate something. <laughs> There's the terminal, the fabled terminal he's been hounding me about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who remembers how to get back there? <laughs> they seem to just give it to you anytime there's more than one dude in your reach. so close now. I just have to get back there, so... Got it. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> Oop. Sweet. All right, get ready for this. The real Psy Girls begins here. Pressing the square button. Jacking in. This is the gimmick of Psy Girls. Everything up till now has just been like, you know, ripped off mechanics that were stylish at the time. But this is weirdly, I don't know, nothing quite like this has been done or had been done at the time. It's almost kind of like Soul Reaver. Where you have like a world on top of a world. Instead, by means of activating various skill programs, you can intervene within PsyD. Note the skill file right beside you. First, you must obtain it using the download skill. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's all, and it's kind of like uh, in Deus Ex. Where you like you have nodes that you interact with. Hold R1 down to open the command input window. While holding down the R1 button, first press the X button, then the circle button. <laughs> it's got without the context, it just sounds like a bunch of nonsense. Oh, I see. Ah, that's right. Okay, yeah. See, that's that's kind of cool. It's like. Oh, um, I don't know. Different button combinations have different commands, and you get yeah, you get you get moves. There's like Tatsumakis and stuff. I've, um, let's see. Let's 
so yeah see these these are uh, the motions you make with the, the face buttons Not what that's for. Okay, here we go. Look how much further I can jump. I'm like lightweight, and my attacks are different because I don't have a sword in here. We got like this martial arts combo, and triangle is like a launcher. I or that's what it looks like anyway. No hiding against walls. It's very different. As expected, it won't be easy to pass through. Those are and then the, the enemies are the these like file things. It seems they have control of this room since the well. Enemies may not seem so tough now, but you should never let your guard down. Alright, circle is for fast but weak attack, triangle is for slow but strong, standard fare, you can high jump with X, I'm pressing it hard, oh is it, is it actually, oh there we go, yeah you can Tatsumaki, that's pretty cool. See, this is still pretty interesting to me. It's not like good <laughs> per se, but it's like, I don't know, it's cool. It's very Tron. I'm happy to inhabit a Tron looking game for a while. Uh, so is that it? What am I trying to do? The enemy may be watching you from somewhere. Don't be careless. Skill, wait. Find clues. Alright. Presumably I'm supposed to be like hacking. And then just come here to beat up those things. Ah. Yeah, they should have made the doors stand out more. Is that just my eyes? I'm still wearing sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Impassable barrier is a security field that can be destroyed using the brakes. Oh, okay, so this is what you use brake for get close, and then you do the command, right? Wait. Did I have that wrong? Ah, wrong direction. Cool. Slightly pointless, perhaps, but whatever. It looked cool. Let's see. Report on electric power supplies. Currently, 90% of the world's electric power comes from space. What? <laughs> this power is generated by Solgem 2, a geostationary satellite equipped with a revolutionary type of solar panel. I see. Developed by Taiwan's Dr. Ho Yen Jen. The power is transmitted from space in the form of microwave radiation to power receiving stations located in the equator. See, <laughs> I 
That's surprisingly thoughtful. That must be the wall skill file. Acquire it with download. Sweet. Tell me this isn't cool. You get new abilities. And like finding out lore and stuff. This is, you know, a lot of this stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like Deus Ex. I've been playing through that as well recently. The uh, the latest one, Mankind Divided. And uh, well, that's a separate story. But like, I'm, I'm starting. I feel like some of the hacking stuff in that is suspiciously reminiscent of the stuff in this. So, okay, yeah, I've already done that. What is, so what does wall do? A skill for creating a solid wall dissipates 30 seconds after being generated or after a powerful attack. So you can like be like, denied. That's cool, and you can break it. No, you can't break your own wall. All right, well, that's just there now. <laughs> Man, what if you wall your, uh, I guess it's 30 seconds, okay. I was gonna say, what if you wall yourself in? Clues on the father's killer. Uh, where are the doors? The doors. Ah. Give me. That be an information file. Confirm the contents with download. All right. Periodic file check report. File check report. All right. Uh, below is an auto-check report of the computer-controlled equipment within the mansion. This report is renewed once a week. Once error was found, one error was found as a result of the check. Damage was found near the fireplace in the elevator control file, hmm. which was camouflaged as a pot hook, ah, temporarily preventing access to the top floor. It is now repaired and can be used without a problem. That pot hook camo. It's also kind of cool how they mixed old traditional Japanese stuff with uh, like futuristic stuff. <coughs> and I like her run animation. Look at that. I'm gonna make a gif of that. Oh. This is all gift fodder for later. Okay. Oh shit. Oh man, is this something like a boss fight? I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't remember that this had those. Haha, <laughs> denied. I wish there was a lock on though. wall shoot
What do you do with it though? I'm gonna look it up. Um. Power punches the pound. It just says punch it. <laughs> All right. Stopped. All right. Yes, it worked. Now that explosion was cool too. All right. Oh man, I kind of thought I would get something out of. Oh, is that what this is? Confirm the contents with download. All right. Black Moon. This file's empty. September 12, 2075, classification, top secret document, title report on Operation Black Moon, file sent to Net Justice for Fast Office, person in charge, Benny Gumo. Document was transferred to the... Uh, it's boring. Finally, you found the clue we needed. It's pointless to remain here longer. Hurry and escape before we're detected. Return to the first room you dived into. That was, uh, it's so weird what it does and doesn't mark on the map. It seems like info I could use right now. Uh, got it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I'm back in the real world. Now I can go mess with that pot hook. I think this game is best looked at as an adventure game because the action, like, is conceptually more satisfying than the actual action itself is. I don't know how, like, the action is bad. Let's say that. But it's more about the, I don't know, progressing the spectacle. Oh my goodness. Let's, uh, uh let's see if I can... <laughs> Man, it, it like, doesn't even matter how many guys <laughs> you have to fight because your sword just goes through all of them. Oh no, oh my god, go down. That was terrifying. Um. Oh, 
terug. Sweet. It all came back to the pot hook. Should have known all along. Alright. Oh yeah, oh man. Anyone else? Ah. Alright, this is actually getting a little dangerous. <laughs> time for all this talk. Throw down your weapon and come here, and I'll let him go. If you don't, I'll cut off his head right now and you'll have the rest of your life to be sorry you didn't. Benigmo, we know all about what you did to my father. You are finished. Our village knows what to do with a traitor. What are you talking about? The village is all mine now. You're the one who drew a sword on the headman. You're the one who's the traitor. Your old man had some bad luck. But you're just mad because he didn't play his hand very well either. This localization is actually quite good for the time. The time had passed him by and he couldn't handle it. Oh no. He who hesitates is lost. Bro. Yeah. That's what your old man told me. Don't be stupid. What the hell? Didn't see that coming. What? <laughs> okay, that was kind of awesome. And I got an S rank for that. Alright, cool. Alright, I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> 